So let's examine the following example that deals with a particle moving inside a rigid box also known as an infinite potential well. So we have an electron and the electron is moving along the bottom of our rigid box and the width of the box is given by 0.3 nanometers. So this is our rigid box. So we have our walls and the two corners of the box and our electron is moving along the bottom of our box that has a length of 0.3 nanometers. So in part A, we want to find the amplitude of the wave produced by the electron. In part B, we want to find the minimum quantum of energy that our electron could have. In part C, we want to find the minimum velocity of that electron. And finally, in part D, we want to find the expression for the wave function of our electron for quantum number of n equals 1. So let's begin with part A. So to find the amplitude, we simply take the square root of 2 divided by L, where L represents the width of our box given in meters. So the square root of 2 divided by 0.3 times 10 to negative 9 meters gives us a value of about 8.2 times 10 to the 4. Now let's move on to part B. So in part B we want to find the minimum quantity of energy that an electron could have when the length of the box is fixed to a value of 0.3 nanometers. So basically recall that if we fix our width of our box, the rigid box, that means the energy only depends on the square of the quantum number. So because we're looking for the minimum energy, we know that the minimum energy is given by a quantum number of n equals 1. So e is equal to n squared multiplied by h squared divided by 8m l squared where m is the mass of the electron and l is the width of that box and h is Planck's constant. So, because we're looking for the minimum energy, the minimum energy is equal to 1 squared, where 1 is the quantum number multiplied by Planck's constant squared, divided by 8 multiplied by the mass of the electron, multiplied by the square of our width of the box given in meters. And that gives us a quantity of energy that is equal to about 6.69 times 10 to negative 19 joules. Now let's move on to part C. So in part C we want to find the minimum velocity of our electron as it moves between the two corners of our rigid box. Now recall for an electron moving inside a rigid box, inside an infinite potential well, our potential energy of that electron is zero. So the total energy E is equal to U plus K. Because U is zero, we have E is equal to simply K. Now because we're going to deal with non-relativistic motion, K is equal to one half M times V squared, where M is the mass of our electron and V is the velocity that we are looking for. So let's set E equal to this quantity and rearrange and solve for the velocity. So we have 2 multiplied by E divided by the mass and we take the square root of this ratio. So the velocity is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by the energy found in part B divided by the mass of our electron given in kilograms and that gives us about a velocity of 1.2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. So notice, if we increase the energy, we're going to increase our velocity. And finally, let's move on to part D. In part D, we want to find the expression for our wave function of an electron with a quantum number of n equals 1. So basically, we want to use this equation. So psi of x, our wave function, is equal to a, the amplitude found in part a, multiplied by sine of n pi, divided by l, multiplied by x. So x is our variable, everything else is basically fixed.
So A is equal to 8.2 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by the sine of, so N is 1, 1 multiplied by pi divided by the width of our box gives us a value of about 1.05 times 10 to the 10 multiplied by x. So this represents our equation for the wave function for our electron moving inside our rigid box that has a quantum number of n equals 1.